that is more uh, versatile when you use it actually. Please go ahead and do. Uh, ah, before before I forget, sorry. Uh, uh, get uh, your uh, get your apple, apple to clean first. up your palate. Mm -hmm. Clean your palate from the linoleum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Did you say that you have to keep this refrigerated? This uh, you have to keep refrigerated uh, oh uh, the olive oil uh, at the temperature that uh, has not to be above 17 or 18 degrees Celsius. That will correspond maybe to 65. Yeah, 60 to 65. 65 yeah. Uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So could you keep it in the refrigerator? <laughs> it will solidify, won't it? When, uh, once you keep uh, uh, olive oil in a refrigerator, it solidifies and then when you take it out, uh, it won't uh, taste uh, uh, the same. No, I won't. Okay. It would get spoiled, actually. Okay. Okay. So you want to keep it in your cupboard uh, closed. Okay. Okay. In the freshest uh, part, in the coldest part of... Uh, keep it in your basement in a dark aisle, in a dark exactly. bottle. Exactly. Yeah. That, that would be ideal. What is that? It's like, yep, how's that? It's like, oh, it's sensation. One it's uh, uh, spiciness and the other one is bitterness. Sure. That tells you that what you're tasting uh, is alive, is fresh because uh, the fresher the, the fresher the product uh, the spicier and uh, the bitter. So bitterness uh, it's is perceived as negative but actually it tells you that uh, the product is high in polyphenols. Polyphenols are uh, natural antioxidant, uh, antioxidants. That means that uh, you will have uh, a product that uh, will uh, live longer, so you don't waste your dollars. It's important. And um, spiciness, uh, again, is uh, uh, is uh, something that is very peculiar to. It, it is very specific to. Uh, each olive kind. Some are more spicy uh, than others. But again, those are the main descriptions uh, and the main things that you want to search uh, in a high quality olive oil. Okay, now let's move to, uh, to another product, again made by us. And uh, this is uh, special blend that we have created for a Michelin star chef. Mm -hmm. well, my, my, my brother is taking the credit. So it's, it's not a we, he has created it. For a, for a Michelin star chef, for a Michelin star chef, uh, that, uh, yeah, Dare a Cesare quel che dice Cesare, no? Dare a Cesare quel che dice Cesare. Uh, knowledgeable about the extra virgin olive oil, <coughs> he does uh, not only savory preparation, but he does uh, baking uh, with mm -hmm. olive oil. He use uh, olive oil instead of uh, animal fats. Mm -hmm. He can do uh, 
uh, creams mm. uh, without um, uh, cream yeah. <laughs> by using bombs, olive oil right. and uh, it's uh, it's uh, in extremely interesting to see that uh, the the flavor is not disturbing you you're really having a dessert mm -hmm. so it is amazing what you can do with uh, with the olive oil I I found that when I I frequently do bake with olive oil and the fruitier if you think of it as a fruit juice and most desserts are you know are sweet it really tends to add a very nice fruity kind of background flavor you got to try it sometime it's it's and just substitute it for Crisco or butter or any of the other oils that you would use. Is it a one to one ratio? Yeah, it's just oil. Yeah, just replace oh. it. So if it asks for a half a cup of vegetable oil, use olive oil. About butter. And um, of course, you will taste it. I mean, you'll. But uh, I found it to be very, a very pleasant uh, addition. What if it says like half a cup of butter, like solid, not melted? Same deal. Oil is oil, but the uh, oh, volume wise, so it'll work. If you're going to do that, if you're going to use the creaming method, it doesn't cream the same way, but you know, there's um, velvet cakes which actually are made from oil and um, they give it a little different texture, but still you get a very nice velvet. Yeah. You don't need it for that. A lot of them use yeah. 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 So again, clean up your mouth. Thank you. Thank you. How many more so I can save my apple? No. Oh, yeah, I'm out of this is it, I think. This is the third one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pepper burn yeah. back yeah. here. Yeah. Pleasant, mm -hmm. huh? You would like it. I would think. Since you put I like spicy. chili peppers yeah. on everything. Yep. Good. <laughs> well, it's been different here with a little bit of just <coughs> so can you can you feel uh, any difference here? Spicier. Spicier? Seems mm. thicker to me. Thicker? I got some this, butteriness, more uh, that's, well, that's more, more butteriness. Like more, yeah, it's mm -hmm. thicker. Mm -hmm. had a, mm -hmm. I still have the, the uh, still has the green grass. Yes, intense. and the pepper, and still has the pepper flavor. Can you feel uh, an aftertaste of uh, candied uh, marshmallows? Just kidding. Think so. <laughs> now. Uh, uh, now, mm, just to tell you uh, a few things about this product. Uh, this product uh, is even a more complex blend uh, of native uh, varietals. Uh, here we have uh, uh, four native uh, varietals coming uh, from four different uh, territories uh, of, uh, of Sicily. Uh, some come from Western Sicily, where we have other mills uh, and other properties. Uh, and uh, others come uh, from uh, from this part of Sicily. So you can see how how one can play 
uh, with the with the different